When Gauss was just 10 years old, he was in math class and um, his teacher posed a problem. And the problem was to find the sum of the first 100 counting numbers. Now you have to remember since Gauss lived in 1777 to 1855, he didn't even have paper in his classroom. So what he and his friends had was a piece of slate, which is a rock, and then they wrote on it with a piece of chalk. And then when they got done, they erased it. So it was the first like whiteboard. And so his teacher posed this problem, and they had to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, all the way up to 100. And Gauss got done with the problem really quickly. And the way that he did this was that he looked for patterns, because that's what math is. And so in this table here, you see that if you have the first counting number, the sum is 1. And then when you have the second counting number, it would be adding here, and then we would get 3. And then we'll add here, and we get 6. And um, we're going to continue. And then we'll add here, and we get 10. And then here, and we get 15. And then we have 21. And so now we're at 28. But how would we know what it was when we got up to 100? So what Gauss noticed was if you took um, 100, and added 1 to it, you get 101. And then if you took 99 and added 2 to it, you'd get 101. And then 98 plus 3, and you get 101. So he noticed that he kept getting 101. And so what was happening with his numbers here is they were descending, while his numbers here were ascending. And so all he had to do was a quick multiplication, and he got his answer. So what is the sum of the first 100 counting numbers?